Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the learning framework course series. In this video, I will walk you through the module 1 and will guide you how to complete an assignment in module 1. So first thing, what you have to do, go to your coursework, learning framework and then you go to the module one i'm already on module one and then now i'll go to we have so far completed all the assignment in this oc introduction now we'll complete the assignment in the motivating success folder so go here and then the first thing you'll see is this assignment here the assignment motivating success and interactive study guide click here if you click it's just taking some time and then you should be able to download here in order to download the file you see that on the three dots here go to the three dots and download original file so I downloaded my original file and it's right here right there here and now I have to complete each question here now you must be wondering where do I find out all this information so here is this video for okay so I go back and see the motivating success the PowerPoint so I can download the PowerPoint or I can view this PowerPoint online whatever is good for you so let's go here So the first question here is who is considered a traditional student so here there are th types of students so we have the different categories of students the traditional then traditional international first generation a student with disabilities working and commuter students so you have to answer this question here so just type in your answer right there the traditional students non-traditional students look at the side that is that list the type of students which one applies to you so all among all these different kinds of categories where do you fall write down your question here write down your answer here so after you complete then we talk about the college overview the course delivery format and all the answer is right here so go back the course delivery formats so here are the three main course formats the lecture it could be the face-to-face -face, hybrid and the wave so for example you might be taking this course either as a face-to-face -face or a hybrid or as a wave so you just have to answer right there so just two examples here it says it could be a face-to-face -face hybrid where can you locate the college policies okay so keep going on the slides here are the course policies where you can find so if you click here or it's a college just click on this link here so you have to just copy this link and then paste into the answer here so how do I how do I copy so go here and then click a right click and then you say copy so you simply copy and come back and paste the control V or you can simply say paste here so this is it and the th here is a list three college resources that are available at Oshi. So you have the different resources available. Here are you have advising, college life coach, tutoring and supplement instruction, learning resource, campus food pantry, campus counseling, career services, financial aid. So those are the the services or the resources available to you 
and here I says the college completed a list of tips for college success. So you go back here and you should be able to find out the college success here. What you have to do? So all the answers are here. Personal responsibility for success. So you should be find out able to all your answer right there. And the other thing it talks about the academic integrity. So here it is. So what is the academic dishonesty? Well, if you cheat either from or either on the homework or in your exam or you're writing a paper, you simply copy and paste someone else's work that is called cheating, or you provide false information that is the dishonesty, or you just take a data from an experiment and you falsify it that is the fabrication. And then, or you, if you say plagiarism, that is, you imitate someone's language, you copy someone's in, in their own words and paste into your own work, that is called plagiarism. And uh, you do not credit their or someone else's work, that is not good, that is the dishonesty. So these are the different forms of academic dishonesty. And you have to write down that right here in the box, okay? So this is it from this video and remember the academic you always have to maintain academic integrity while you are in the field of academia So this is it from this video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you very much